Here's another example of calculating an expected value. All of the examples prior to this one involved discrete random variables. So when we found an expected value, we calculated a summation. This one involves a continuous random variable, so we will be working an integral rather than computing a summation. Find the expected value of x for the random variable x with probability density function f of x equals x over 2 for x values between 0 and 2. Now the support out here shows you that this is a continuous random variable. So in this case, when we calculate that expected value, and you signify that by the Greek letter mu, you can also write that as the expected value of capital X. This will be the integral over the support of X times F of X dx. And we usually signify that support by script A. So in this particular case the support goes from 0 to 2 and we have x multiplied by the probability density function which is x over 2 dx. Well when you integrate x squared you get x cubed and that will be divided by 2 times 3 which is 6 and when you evaluate that from 0 to 2 when you plug in 2 you get 2 cubed which is 8 divided by 6 minus 0 and 8 sixths is the same as 4 thirds now as a geometric interpretation of the mean in this case here is x the support goes from 0 to 2 and the probability density function is x over 2 so that's just a ramp that begins at 0 and ends at 1 in this particular case you can do the 1 half base times height thing to see that the area underneath this is 1. But as we calculate an expected value and wind up with 4 thirds, well 4 thirds is right here. So again the probability interpretation here of this 4 thirds is if I generate one value after another after another from this particular probability distribution those values will all lie between 0 and 2 and if I grab a lot of those values and average them, their mean will converge to the population mean, which is 4 thirds. Now the physical interpretation here is if you think of a barbell that has a width of 2 and it's lighter down at this end, maybe it's aluminum, and it's heavier down at this end, maybe it's tungsten, so it is a mix from lighter to heavier as you move to the right and the weight of the bar along there is given by this function then the point that you would pick that bar up so that it would not uh, fall off to the left or to the right if you had to pick it up in one spot if you picked it up at four-thirds that would be the balance point or the center of gravity